Galvalume is one of the most popular metal roofing substrates on the market today, and for good reason. In today's video, we're gonna learn what Galvalume is, how it's used in metal roofing, and if it's the right material for your home or building. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett, make sure you subscribe if you're new. We release metal roofing and metal construction content every Monday and Wednesday. Today is Q&A Mondays, and as always, the questions we're gonna be discussing today are located in the description below. You can jump ahead using those quick links. And for our topic, we are talking about Galvalume, steel substrate for metal roofing. And I have Adam and Jeff from Sheffield Metals to help me out. Thanks for being here, guys. So Jeff, let me start with you. Can you tell me what Galvalume is? Galvalume is cold rolled steel that goes through a hot dipping process of aluminum and zinc. And it basically puts a coating on top of that substrate, helps it be more corrosion resistant, more protected from the elements. Two of the ones that we mainly use are AZ50. AZ is the designation for aluminum zinc. 50 is the amount of the coating weight that's on the uh, steel substrate. That's gonna be used for our painted products. It's a little lighter coating weight because it does have the extra protection of the paint system. The other one that we mainly use is AZ55. Uh, it's got a heavier coating weight than the AZ50 uh, because it's gonna be made for bare applications. It's not gonna be installed and it's gonna be non-painted. So it has a little bit heavier of that uh, coating weight on there to help protect it from the elements without having the paint system installed. And Adam, why would we wanna coat a steel product? Sure, I mean, you're gonna to wanna to use Galvalum for protection. So. Galvalume is is a warrantable uh, hot dipped coating that goes on the steel where a lot of other products out there are not. So you can even see a, a, a lesser coated Galvalume and it won't have the typical 25 plus year warranty on our standard products as far as the substrate goes. So using that coating, using it at the right weight really is critical to, to have a long term coated roofing product out there to avoid corrosion or at least extensive corrosion, really visible corrosion, rust lines, rust marks running down the, the side of a structure uh, or a roof panel. So Adam, how has Galvalume kind of entered the market and where do we stand right now where it's used in the metal roofing industry? Galvalume uh, came by way of Bethlehem Steel. Bethlehem is uh, kind of one of the the, the big revolutionary steel mills from you know way back when. Um, Bethlehem is no longer around. However, you know, a lot of different companies tried different things in the market to try to find a longer lasting product, a, a better, more durable, longer lasting, less corrosive. So um, Galvalume really started to, to come up in the 1960s. As time went on, different, different long-term projects, different tests, they've been able to prove the durability. They've been able to give the product a warranty. And if you look at where the industry came from, traditionally, the architectural metals industry was typically a painted uh, galvanized substrate, uh, varying coating weights, G60, G90. But with the advent of Galvalume and seeing something that was more corrosion resistant and uh, steel mills willing to uh, put a warranty on it uh, and not put a warranty on a galvanized product, um, that's really when it took over. So I'd say probably in the mid to late 90s, you started to see uh, Galvalume more and more prominent. And I would say by uh, the the early 2010s, you really saw Galvalume overtake uh, Galvanized. Now, there still are some applications for Galvanized, but Galvalume by and large, your typical, we'll call it residential construction install, that's where you're going to see it predominantly installed, commercial buildings, non-specialized buildings. So you don't have uh, animal confinement, you don't have chemicals, waste, you know, things that are going to be potentially harmful uh, to really many substrates, that's really where you're going to see Galvalume dominate in the architectural market. And I think that was a great point that you made about the warranties. And we'll talk more about that in a second. But Jeff, can you talk to us a little bit about the pros and cons of Galvalume when it comes to installation, location, things like that? You know, some of the pros when it comes to Galvalume, you know, is it's going to be, you know, a typical metal that you're probably used to working with if you're a standing seam metal roofer. It's not going to be like a copper or a zinc where you're going to have to take into consideration the, the metal that you're using as far as, you know, leaving air gaps when you install it. 
making sure you don't get fingerprints on the, the metal itself. It's a pretty hardy material. And, and again, it doesn't require a lot to install it as far as, you know, special requirements or things like that. Another pro, obviously, is the longevity and the corrosion resistance of the product. You know, in the right circumstances, there have been gavel and roofs that have lasted 50 plus years and they look great. To go along with that, obviously, the longevity portion of it is that it does carry a warranty. Uh, we offer a 25-year, six-month corrosion warranty, perforation warranty on the uh, gavel loom that we sell. One of the other big things is price and availability. It's uh, readily available throughout the market. It's competitive with pricing with other metal products, you know, when you're not talking about specialty products like copper and zinc. So what about the other side, the cons of using gavel loom, Jeff? I don't know if you really consider it a con, but, you know, it's it's basically using the proper product in the proper setting, but... Galvalume isn't intended to be used in coastal environments, saltwater conditions, you know, so per our Galvalume warranty, you have to be greater than 1,500 feet from a coastline with breaking surf, 800 feet away from a large bay, 400 feet away from marshes, brackish water, things like that. You know, to go along with that, it's not intended to be used in any highly corrosive environments, uh, anywhere that you're going to have a lot of chemicals, chemical fumes, uh, anywhere it can be subjects from fallout from ash, uh, you know, animal confinement spaces, things like that. Uh, you know, you want to make sure that you're using the proper product um, and Galvalum would not be a good choice for those areas. One of the other things is that Galvalum uh, might show the appearance of oil caning more uh, than say a galvanized product. You want to make sure that you take every step that you can to help try to avoid that. And there's definitely things that you can do. We've talked about them in other videos and we have articles about oil caning and how to prevent them. One of the other things that, it, again, you know, you want to be careful of it. Something, it's something to keep in mind if you're installing a gavelin roof that's not painted is uh, you can scuff the gavelin coating in high traffic areas. So things you want to be careful of is uh, you have a large crew, you have a ladder set up on the roof, all the guys getting up on the roof, you know, they put their first foot down. First thing they do is they turn um, and that, that turning of your shoe or your boot could eventually, you know, or potentially scuff the gavelin coating. So if you have a large crew, you got guys getting up and down the ladder all day, everybody's stepping in that one spot, or say you have a pretty steep roof, it's not somewhere they can get a real good footing on, uh, you know, you might, you know, have your heels down or your toes down, uh, pressing on that galvalume coating and, and it could scuff it. Uh, and if it does scuff it, there's not really anything you can do about it. Uh, the only thing you can do is if you don't replace it is, you know, after the galvalume ages and kind of gets that weathered look, hopefully it'll blend in a little bit better, but uh, you definitely want to be careful when you're working with bare gavelum uh, to make sure that you're not scuffing it. What about if I'm a homeowner or building owner and I'm considering gavelum for my application? Are there any other things that I should keep in mind about that product or or that I should know about? Yeah, that you know, right out of the gate, when you get a gavelum roof, it can be pretty bright, especially you know out in the sunshine. But over time, it will start to dull. It will start to lose some of its luster. Um, we actually have a painted finish called pre-weather galvalum where it, it kind of mimics that. It's still going to, to have a little bit of a bright appearance, brighter appearance, but it starts to dull and, and darken up a little bit over time. Other things for consideration, you know, Jeff alluded to it, you know, we can't advise strongly enough. This is not intended to be a coastal product where it has a lot of engineering. Um, we also have engineering on other products that are intended to be in coastal applications like aluminum. So it is a high performing product. It does have a long longevity as long as it's uh, installed correctly and in, in a uh, adequate environment. All right, thanks Jeff and Adam, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you have any questions about Galvalume or other metal roofing materials, comment down below. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel. As always, I'm Thad Barnett, and we'll catch you next time.